All right, guys, here we go with today's multiplayer round. I feel like I haven't posted one in a few days, maybe. But uh, it's time to get a good round and get something up there for y'all. We'll see which bag we want to use once the layout pops up. In my, uh, in my starter bag, I have the Enigma. I've been liking it a lot. I wish I could squeeze it into kind of my main bag, the Elite bag. Um, just so hard to find a spot for another disc so I've just kind of been playing the layouts and finding good layouts that I could use it on um, definitely getting more used to it very similar to the paradigm I don't know which one I like better it's been a while since I've had the paradigm in the bag so it's hard to tell but the Enigma looks really sweet with that lightning trail Enigma looks awesome or the paradigm looks awesome too so it's a tough choice but uh, let me know if you if you use either of those two which one do you prefer and why but uh yeah the enigma just seems so straight and covers a lot of distance so we got enzo so let's see the only thing I, that i don't have in the starter bag that i want to make sure i don't need is the skip sapphire so that's kind of what i'm considering switching to it for Something like Enzo where it comes in handy, then I want to make sure there's not some other holes that I'd like to have the, the skip sapphire on. But here we go. Um, I think the backhand might be a little long, so I'm going to stick with the forehand enigma. And let's see how we do here. Just try to throw it right up the middle. End up on that right side of the fairway, hopefully. Looking pretty good so far. Oh, we get a dead skip. Gosh, that would have been perfect. I feel like that would have been an easy eagle, but we get a dead skip. We got Shooter McGavin and Captain Crush. Captain Crush with the par. Looks like he went way off to the left. Let's see if we can make this one. 173, I'm gonna go with the pure. Uh, I think Right there is about 160, so I'm going to go a little higher and try to throw this straight in. Put a little bit of hyzer on it, but not much with that big tailwind. Oh, not high enough. Right on line, just a little bit low, but that's better than high on that hole because you could potentially go long go B. So, not a bad miss. Decent little bid there. Wish I wouldn't have got that dead skip. But here we go to the second Enzo hole. This one I'm not going to be using the Enigma. I need more fade. So we're going with the good old glide skip arrive. This is my normal aim point, but because of this wind, we're going to shift to the left a little bit and just try to take some, some distance off of this. Keep it in bounds. Looks like this should be you never know. Oh man. Whew. I mean that's about as perfect as you can get on that hole, but that had me uh had me sweating. Definitely don't want to go up to the drop zone there, especially after Captain Crush already got his eagle. So that worked out perfectly. You can see Shooter McGavin ended up long in the water, so definitely wanna shift your aim point if you're still using the same disc, because you can easily go long into the water in that wind. So that worked out well for me there. This one I've, I've been just going right at this one with the water skip gold. It's been working out for me. Every once in a while, I'll get a. Every once in a while, I'll get the albatross. Doesn't happen very often, but this you know it's going to be left a little bit. Now I need to hope it hits the hit. Yes, there's enough there between the tree and the bell and the frame of the bell that a lot of times you're going to get lucky and get caught up and get your eagle like that so we got the solo lead worst case if you can get that online and not hit you know not end up in the water worst case is a birdie so that's why I've been liking that line a lot here we go this is I'm gonna disc up to the PD because I don't think the Acuro Sapphire would make it there in this wind I'll put some put it out there a little more because the PD is a little more stable than the Oh, we're going to barely miss to the right. That looked pretty good. That, this is the danger, though, of throwing this versus the Accurate Roll Sapphires. You can slide way long. Hopefully we can still save this. 
Probably didn't need to get so aggressive there. 91 feet. We're able to save our birdie. So it didn't cost us there, and we maintain our, oh, two-shot lead. I thought I only had a one-shot lead, but it's not looking too bad. Pretty flawless round so far, other than that dead skip on hole one. So I'm tempted here. The smart play is just to go forehand like glide. That's what I should do right there. But because I have the Enigma, I'm going to try slide to the left. Shoot. Usually I go from... Dang, now I don't know where it is. I think it's this tree. So I want to just stay right of that tree there. So we're going to try to see how this Enigma does on this hole. The, the best miss is more right than left, so I wanna, I'm want i probably going to miss this to the right, turning it too much. Oh, this looks really good, actually. Get on up there. Oh, yeah. Stop. Okay. Nice. I'll take that any day. 83 feet. Don't have to worry as much about the incline. Should be able to throw this just to add about, probably going to add about 15 feet to this. And we got it to go. Also, always an awesome eagle to get there. The Enigma, like I said, I'm, I'm really liking it on some of these holes. Definitely still learning lines and, and stuff, but it's nice to be able to pull it out. Again, I wish I could squeeze it into the main bag, but this one I'm just going to go with the PD. I'm not trying to make this. Just trying to get it in there for my birdie. This will be just fine. It's probably going to end up in that back corner. But that's all right. Should be able to make this around 52 feet and keep this round clean. With three holes to go, we got a nice four-shot cushion. Definitely doesn't happen to me very often anymore, and uh, especially not lately. Haven't been playing well. Been taking a lot of risk, learning discs, learning lines. So that's all right. It's still early in the season, but wanted to get around recorded for y'all. Dang, this is definitely a hole I wish I had the skip sapphire, especially with a a big lead. We're just playing the safe route with a forehand PD. Easy birdie with this disc. And two more holes for downtown. See what we get. Just two par threes, so nothing too exciting. Let's see if we can maybe ace one of these. Got this hole with the difference maker. Definitely a tough wind. It's going to be hard to get it. I don't know if I have enough distance in this wind. I'm not going to put as much hyzer on it because of this big left to right. Yeah, actually could have, definitely could have had enough distance had I lined it up better, but we got lucky that it stayed fair. Fair, what am I playing, baseball? Stayed inbounds, 89 feet. Got it to go. Got our birdie, even though we went for it on that one. And last hole, I can't remember which one it is, but let's see if it's one we can give it a run on since we got a nice big cushion. All right, so my ace line on this hole, I like to go accurate roll sapphire, slide to the left, bottom chevron right on the tip of this umbrella here. And with this wind, I'm going to give it, just a tiny bit of Anheuser, not much at all. Just kind of show the right side of that disc there. And let's see if we can get close to this. It's looking pretty good. Oh, probably should have just pulled straight down. But we stayed in bounds, kind of a safe bid there. Unless it's a crazy win, usually you're going to come in in bounds unless you miss left. But there you go, 12 under on that layout, not too shabby. That was a fun round. Let's uh, take a look at Captain Crush's bag. See what he's got. Pretty old school looking bag, but looks sweet. Three Ballista Pros, regular Ballista, Water Skip, a couple of Rives. Dang, he's got the good old PD in there. Look at that P2 at the B stamp. I, I forgot that one was out there. Accurate Sticky P2. 
sweet looking disc. I thought I was the only one with the putter with that with that stamp, but I forgot that that one came out. The Challenger, I bagged that for a little while. That was a fun disc. But there you go, the Hatchet and the Pioneer. Definitely a unique bag from Captain Crush. Solid round, solid win, and there's today's multiplayer round of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching me play some DGV.